Finally, pages and text. Type is a means to present a visual voice to content. It's meant to enhance the content. Unfortunately, Figma does not handle type very well. You will need to reference Google Fonts to figure out which type fits your project. You will also learn to create additional pages for your Figma document. Typically, you would use pages for additional items for your project. Let's start off by creating a new page. In your Figma document, select page one. In the pages area, select add new page. That has created page two. Let's rename that something fun. Now, we're not going to create a frame. Instead, we're going to use the text tool. I'm going to click once. And if I can't see, I'm going to zoom in until I find my There we go. I'm going to type in my name. And now I'm going to switch and type in fonts.google.com. This is what I'm going to use in order to find a typeface that I want to use. In this case, I'm going to select categories. I'm going to uncheck serif, sans serif, handwriting, and monospace, leaving only display active. I'm going to select a typeface. And select the name. Now I'll go back to my Figma document, select the name by double clicking twice on it, and under the design palette, choose text, change Roboto to monotone, and hit enter. Notice that I have all sorts of other options, including I can hit the drop down menu and look at all the different typefaces that are available. These are typefaces that you can find on Google Fonts. This time around, what I'd like you to do is select the type, scroll down to export, and instead of a PNG file, create a PDF out of your name. Export. And you'll notice that it will come up if you have Acrobat. And you can rename your file here to last name hyphen project 02A10 and submit to Sakai.